Facts of Life was the show that made us all wish to go to a fancy boarding school with our best friends instead of stuck in our parents' basement. Think of it like Hogwarts, but with fewer spells and more fashion. And let's remember the iconic opening theme song. When the world never seems to be lived. A lesson in empowerment and girl power before we even knew what those words meant. These ladies were ready to take on the world, armed with their wit, charm, and 80s fashion sense. These girls dealt with it all, from eating disorders, to peer pressure, to the eternal struggle to find the perfect prom dress. But don't let the uniforms and textbooks fool you. These girls are fierce. Blair is the queen bee, always dressed to impress and quick with a cutting remark. Tootie is the spunky little sister, never afraid to speak her mind. Natalie is the brainy one, always ready with a witty quip. Uh, Einstein? Uh, wrong. And Joe is the tough as nails tomboy who's not afraid to get her hands dirty. And it's thanks to a diverse cast that these characters were able to come to life on the small screen. But that begs the question, where are they now and what are they up to? Lisa Welchel was the iconic face of the show as Blair Warner, but her career goes far beyond her time at Eastland School. Born in Texas in 1963, Welchel started her career in entertainment as a Mouseketeer on the Mickey Mouse Club, but her role as Blair on Facts of Life at the age of 15 made her a household name. Her portrayal of the snobbish but ultimately lovable rich girl earned her several Emmy nominations and a legion of fans. But Welchel didn't stop there. She starred in several TV movies and other TV shows, including the popular drama The Bold and the Beautiful. She even dabbled in music, releasing several Christian albums in the 90s. Outside of her career, Welchel is a devoted mother and has written several books on parenting and faith. And I wouldn't mess with her if I were you, because even at 59, she's a black belt in Taekwondo. As for her relationship with the Fact of Life's cast, Welchel has remained close with several former co-stars, including Mindy Cohn, who played Natalie. In fact, the two even went on to co-star in the Hallmark Channel original movie, For Better or For Worse. These days, Welchel is still active in the entertainment industry, but spends much of her time as a speaker and author. She even competed on the reality show Survivor, Philippines in 2012. Finishing in second place, she has had a very prolific career and has amassed a small fortune of $3 million. So whether she's singing, acting, or inspiring audiences with her words, Lisa Welchel continues to be a force to be reckoned with in the world of entertainment and beyond. Suffice it to say, Blair would be proud. But Lisa Welchel wasn't the only multi-talented actor on set. Her co-star, Kim Fields, delivered performances just as dynamic and affluent on and off screen. She started her career at an early age and has gone on to become one of the most recognized faces in the entertainment industry. Fields was born in New York City in 1969 and began acting at the age of five. Regular suntan bodies and golden blonde hair. Her breakthrough role was Tootie Ramsey on The Facts of Life, where she quickly became a fan favorite at the age of nine. Not wanting to impede the momentum, she went on to star in other popular shows like Living Single and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and even appeared on Dancing with the Stars. But Fields' career isn't just limited to acting. She's also an accomplished director, having directed episodes of several TV shows like Tyler Perry's Meet the Browns and Kenan and Kel. And did you know that she also released a gospel album? Off screen, Fields is a proud mother of two and has been married to her husband, Christopher Morgan, for over a decade. Morgan is also an actor and producer, so it's safe to say that the two of them have a lot to talk about at home. But it's nice to know that even at the age of 53, she is living life to the fullest. She was very close to Lisa Welshel after their time on the show. They even reunited on an episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, where Fields was a cast member for several seasons. Currently, Fields is still very active in the entertainment industry. In 2020, she starred in and executive produced the Lifetime movie, You Light Up My Christmas. She also recently released her memoir, Blessed Life, which details her journey in the entertainment industry and her personal life. Also, she is on the Netflix original series, The Upshaws with Wanda Sykes, which aired in 2021. She took life by the high road and it definitely paid off. All you have to do is look at the legacy she's built for herself. With a net worth of $6 million, she has the freedom to decorate her time with whatever she wants. Uh -huh. But Kim Fields isn't the only acting prodigy from New York City. Her co-star Nancy McKeon also gets a shared credit for that. Born in 1966, she started her acting career at the young age of 10. McKeon's most famous role was as Joe Polnicek in The Facts of Life. 
where at the age of just 13, she portrayed a tough talking and independent teenager. I don't have to read Dumbo. I bunk next to her. Her performance in the show was so impressive that it earned her a Young Artist Award in 1985. After the facts of life ended, McKeon went on to star in other TV shows like Can't Hurry Love and The Division, which she also produced and directed. In 2018, she participated in the 27th season of Dancing with the Stars and made it to the seventh week before being eliminated. When she's not acting, McKeon enjoys spending time with her family. She's married to Mark Andrus, and they have two daughters together. McKeon and Andrus met on the set of Facts of Life, where he worked as a grip. Currently, the 37-year-old McKeon is still actively involved in the entertainment industry, both in front and behind the camera. In 2020, she produced and starred in the TV movie A Welcome Home Christmas, which was released on Lifetime. With such talent, is it any surprise that she has a net worth of $2 million? Born in Los Angeles in 1966, Cohn started her acting career as a child, appearing in various TV commercials and minor roles in TV shows. In 1979, Cohn auditioned for the role of Natalie Green on The Facts of Life, and she landed the part at age 12. Her performance as the lovable and bubbly Natalie quickly won over audiences and became a fan favorite. She continued to play Natalie throughout the entire run of the show, which lasted from 1979 to 1988. Aside from The Facts of Life, Cohn has appeared in several other TV shows and movies over the years. She has lent her voice to various animated shows and films, including The Secret Life of Pets and Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. She has also made guest appearances on shows like The Middle, The Helpsters, and The Kids Are All Right. Cohn is known for being very private. However, she has been open about her battle with breast cancer, which she was diagnosed with in 2017. She underwent treatment and has since become an advocate for breast cancer awareness and prevention and is now 56 and living peacefully. She and Lisa Welchel were very close and the two even started their podcast called Lighten Up with Lisa and Mindy, where they discuss various topics and share their unique perspectives. Cohn was also good friends with the late actor Robin Williams. They met while working together on the movie The Boy Could Fly and remained close until his passing. Currently, Cohn continues to act and voice characters in various projects. She also continues to use her platform to raise awareness for breast cancer and other causes she is passionate about. And while her career as an actress hasn't culminated, she still has a lot to show for her time in front of the camera, as she is reported to have a net worth of $4 million. Facts of Life may have been a sitcom from the 80s, but its impact is still felt today. This show revolutionizes the genre by addressing serious issues young women face while maintaining its humor and heart. It paved the way for shows like Girlfriends and Awkward, which continue to explore the complex world of teenage girls. The legacy of Facts of Life can still be seen in the many references and homages made to it in popular culture today. This show has become a pop culture icon, from references in movies like Mean Girls to parodies on TV shows like The Simpsons. But the greatest achievement of Facts of Life is the way it touched the lives of its viewers, both then and now. It taught us to be strong, independent, and kind, and showed us that even in the toughest times, we can rely on our friends to get us through.